Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mesa Troll Tips and Tricks. If this is your first time here, my name is Phil, and I teach people how to set up, program, and run a Mazak CNC lathe while programming it with Mesa Troll. If you want to see more of this type of content, be sure to click that subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss anything. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use the threading process to thread on the inside of a part. If you have a T2 or T3 control, there are certain things you need to watch out for, and I will explain it in the video. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, what I'm going to do in this program is I'm going to continue where I left off with the ID grooving program. So here it is here for the ID grooving. I drilled a hole into the center and then I grooved a relief groove for the thread at the bottom of the thread down here. So now what I want to do is do the thread. So we don't need to create a new program. We're just going to edit the existing program. So push the program button, go to the bottom, push the right button, push erase, input, down arrow, and now we're ready to uh, program the thread. All right, so what we're going to do is push thread, push the inside, and then we're going to have zero for the chamfering because we have a thread relief groove we're going into. So the thread lead on the part, I just drew it on here, the lead is 1 divided by 12, or 0 0.083333. We can go up to six decimal places when we're doing the thread. So 0 0.083333. Angle of thread, 60 degrees. I want to feed into it on an angle instead of go straight in. If I wanted to just plunge straight in on the thread and cut over, the angle would be zero. Number of entrances is one. The thread height, we push auto because it's going to calculate it based on the lead. And it's going to give us number of cut passes 10, 1200 surface feed per minute, but it's going to max it out at 2000 RPM. And the tool number. So if we push tool data, we're going to use tool 13, which is the thread on the inside. And it has a 60 degree primary angle and a 60 degree secondary angle. Go back to program. So tool 13, offset 1. Now this is the starting point on X. Even though we're doing a thread on the inside, we are going to give it the starting point on X of the major diameter of the thread, 1 inch, 1.250. We're not going to give it the minor. So no matter which type of thread you're doing, the ID or the OD, you're always going to do the major diameter of the thread. So 1.250, starting point is 0, final point on X is 1.250. We're not making a tapered pipe thread. If we were, then we would put an, a different X in there. And then the final point on Z. I'm going to stay 10 thousandths away from the groove that we just machined into the part. So 1.290. Shape N and N. Right button, figure check. And there's our thread. What I showed everybody in the previous video is whenever we're doing ID grooving or ID threading on a T2 or a T3 control, you must put an ID minimum of whatever your drill size is for your part. If you put zero here, the threading tool on the very last pass is going to wrap it down to X0 and it will crash into the, into the part. 
you'll see that on the graphics after you run the toolpath check. So we've already run the the drill cycle so we can erase this. We've already run the bar in, erase. And now we're just left with the thread. So right button, figure check, scale input. And now we have the thread. So now I want to show you the error that the T2 and the T3 have if you don't put in the ID minimum. So program, if we leave this blank, I want to show you where the machine is going to crash into the part. So program check, check continue, and it starts at zero, threads the part, and then rapids down to zero and rapids out. That's where this machine will crash. If you see it on the toolpath check, it will happen when you push cycle start. So be very careful about that. So ID minimum, 1.130. That's the size of the hole we drilled into the workpiece. Scale. Input. Now when we run the program check, because we have the ID minimum at 1 inch 130, it's not going to crash. So now we can run the part. The work shift is already set. So let's go ahead and run it. Tool path erase, trace, auto, and cycle start. We're done. Now we got a nice thread in the part. If we were doing this for real, I would then come up here to the tool wear screen, tool set, and adjust tool 13 to get us the part where our mating part goes in it usually runs around plus 8 to plus 10 on the threading even if the tools are set correctly um, I'm really not sure if that is due to the tool nose radius But basically on this machine, round plus eight to plus 10 will give me a finished thread. And there's our finished part with a thread in the middle. One thing I forgot to mention in the video is do not change the threading speed when you're in the middle of running the thread on this older control. If you change the speed, it will lose the thread lead and then scrap your part. So be very careful about that. Only change the speed when you are done with one part and going to another part. But don't change it in the middle of running a part. That's our video. If you like what you see, Go ahead and push the subscribe button and click the bell so you won't miss any future videos we have coming out. Thanks for watching.